Hey guys, so I want to do a full review of CM12 on uh, the Galaxy Swipe. So I've already done a review on the Note 4, the Note uh, 2, and uh, the S2, the S3, the S4, a uh, bunch of other devices. So uh, here it is, CM12 for the Galaxy S5. I didn't make that video before because I was busy uh, making videos for the official uh, update, official Samsung Galaxy S5 5.0 Lollipop update from Samsung. And I already made a video for that review and the tutorial. You can check that out on my channel. Now here we have this um, CM12 brand new. I've just installed. So I'm just going to click here, finish. You can see, got it. And it looks pretty awesome. Of course. So... I also installed the G apps here. Let me just lower down the brightness a little bit. So I already installed the G apps. Um, you can see here. So, so to install this on your Galaxy S5, just visit the link in the description. I have a tutorial of a combined tutorial of how to install it on the S5, the S4, the S3, S2, and that will be a um, you know combined video for all of these smartphones. So if you have the S4, the S3, or maybe S2, then you can visit that, uh, watch that video, and that will help you out a lot. So you can see it's uh, very smooth, actually. And uh, we do have the uh, this messaging app here, along with the Hangouts. And uh, you can see we do have the Hangouts in this app. And then also we have this camera. The camera is actually the stock camera. Stock Google camera, so nothing special about it. Um, you will miss the old camera app. And of course, if we click the settings here, you can see that if you click at the resolution quality, you will not be seeing 4K video, so you can only record 1080p. That is also an extremely drawback here, CM12. Um, then also, uh, if we go down here, you can see the lollipop style notification um, panel and all that. You can mess up with the brightness and this stuff here. So let's check out here the settings. Then we have the status bar option. You can have this brightness control. And then also we have the quick pull down. Like if you scroll down uh, from the right edge of the screen, you will get these options. You will not see like this. If you see do it like this, you will see these options, quick notifications. I mean quick settings. So uh, if you go here buttons, you can have some specific actions using these buttons. Like you can add um, custom action if you hold down the back key. So uh, this is the uh, home button wake up option. Of course, when you click the home button, you're going to wake up. You can also have the double tap action double tap action like open close menu voice search uh, let's see if I have the launch camera if it's going to work or not okay long press is the uh, multi-toss switch uh, area but if I double tap it doesn't launch camera so you can see it does not work at the moment let's check other screen screen off Okay, now you can see screen off works, but the camera is not working with this quick shortcut. Um, you can also have the keyboard cur cursor control using the volume keys. So, pretty good options there. If you go down here into the display, also have these great options. Uh, go here into advanced settings. You have double tap to sleep on the uh, status bar. Um, let's see here. Oh, that works pretty fine. Of course, this is how the lock screen will look like. You can uh, just swipe to uh, cancel or clear your notification. Then you can also go here into the dialer. You can go here into the camera or just quickly unlock the device. So you can't actually add widgets to your lock screen like we have on the KitKat or Jellybean. But you can see you have this only few options here in the display section. Sound and notifications, some normal option, nothing special. Then storage, battery, and that same options that we have on every Android device. So if you go here in the valve section, you can see this is CM12. Uh, 
12 and this is KLTE. This is the Snapdragon variant of the Galaxy S5. Of course, the Octa-Core or the Exynos variant doesn't have the CM12 and that's the main reason uh, why I switched to the Quad-Core Galaxy S5. You can see right now in my hands. So if you type on the build number a couple of times, you will see it will say that you are a developer. You have unlocked the developer settings where you can also see some more options. Uh, you can also have quick boot mode um, enabled so that your device is going to boot up quickly. You can also have the USB debugging enabled. Ton of stuff there. So very smooth here. You can go into gallery, which is also good. You can check out contacts. You can also check out browser. And you can also check out the Apollo which is also the music app available and along with the Apollo we also have this play music available um, uh, so we have two music apps and also we do have the DPS manager, DSP manager actually um, to have the stuff and you also have the file manager to mess up with different stuff here stuff so uh, you can also have sound record options, SIM toolkit if you are running so of course SIM is working fine and uh, you can see your phone and this is actually my main phone at the moment so uh, you can see SIM is working fine Wi-Fi is also working fine, browser is working fine so uh, there's no problem you can do it, uh, use it as your daily driver um, but still there's a better option available at the moment which is the official 5.0 you should install it and there are also a couple of ROMs available which are based on that stock 5.0 life of which I'm going to do a review pretty soon so be sure to subscribe and for a uh, tutorial of how to install it just visit the link in the description and if you want me to compare it with some other devices like Speedwise and all that or any specific video you want to watch just comment down below and I'll see you next one peace out